The Holy Spirit, when he came during Pentecost, and each time when he comes, does he establish the guilt of the world, of sin, of justice, and of judgment? In fact, this question refers to a text of Jesus, a very mysterious word of Jesus, in John chapter 16, verse 8. Here is the text, and when he comes, he will prove the world to be in the wrong about sin and rightness and judgment. And when Jesus explains, in fact, because of sin, they do not believe in me. In fact, because of justice, I go to the Father, and you will no longer see me. In fact, because of judgment, the prince of this world is already judged. So what does that mean? When the Holy Spirit comes into a person, this arrival produces an effect of sweetness by which I would always characterize this experience by the two specific qualities of the femininity of God, its intimate secret. He is love, but more than that, unconditional love. Whoever he is also all of all, all humanity in smallness, he doesn't put yourself forward, but he puts others forward, elevation of the others. These are the two qualities which have provoked it, but the demon to revolt the most, essentially humility, and especially this total humility, which is called kenosis, when God himself lowers himself below his state in order to raise small creatures like the man and the woman above himself, in order to give them his royalty, all his power, the result, when the Holy Spirit comes, he changes man who becomes similar to that, and the world which does not accept these values which are put forward, values of glory, career, and etc., begins to abhor those who testify to that, to fight them, really to reject them, to cause them a physical death, in the days of the Roman Empire and to cause a social death in today's world. Then why did the Holy Spirit establish justice? Justice means the truth of what is just because. Jesus says, because I am going to the Father. In fact, this establishes who the Father is, the truth about the Father. If we understand who and what the Holy Spirit is, love, humility, and who and what Christ is who preach this when they understand that the Father is similar. This is total justice. We believed here before until now that the Father had sent us tests in order to crush us. This is what the demon had made Adam and Eve to believe. And consequently, we now understand that in fact justice, the truth is that he sends them. It is true but not to crush us, more like to educate us, to shape our hearts little by little within this humility and this love, so that we may become with him in paradise. Finally, the Holy Spirit establishes the world of judgment, and because Jesus says this prince of this world is judged, what does that mean? The prince of this world, the demon, his goal, his hope, is to defeat this project of God. He does everything so that the whole of humanity is exalted in glory, in selfish pleasure, and selfish money, and follows him at the hour of death in his revolt. The demon thus hopes, therefore, if all of humanity follows him, God will still have to change his plans and grant the eternal first place to the most powerful, the most intelligent, therefore, to Lucifer. When the Holy Spirit clarifies, therefore, that this is an illusion and will never happen, even if the whole of humanity were to be damned with the whole lot of angels, God could not change that because it does not come from an arbitrary decision. It comes from his being, his essence, his Trinitarian life, his kenosis. The Father never ceased to raise the Son above himself, I will exalt him again. And the son said to the father, I am exist only by you. You are greater than me. He explicitly said in scripture, and the Holy Spirit said, I am only by you. You alone count, and I am only your love. He is like that. He can't change himself. God is all-powerful, so he could change. No, God is omnipotent, except to contradict himself and his very being 
cannot be anything other than what he is. So therefore, the prince of this world is defeated. The demon's fight remains obstinate and blind since he prides himself upon it. He does not give in and he had been defeated by Jesus Christ. He had Christ killed and he has lost. Well, the demon continues because he does not give in, but he has already been defeated. 